Today we're talking about loading and unloading your 35mm film so this doesn't happen to you. Thanks for tuning in, check it out. So if you're new here, my name is Sebastian Costancho. I make lifestyle videos on this channel, uh, and that includes photography, entertainment, and music, traveling, lots of the good stuff. So please consider subscribing, you won't regret it. But let's just get right into the video, shall we? Quick backstory on how this video actually came to be. I was out shooting with my friend Trevor. It was his first time shooting with film. I'm sure we've all had this situation at least once if you've tried shooting with film. And it happened to my friend Trevor, unfortunately, today. He shot his first roll of film and he didn't ask me and I didn't think to tell him about how to unload the film. And he, so he starts, you know, pulls this and he starts unwinding his film. He's like, oh, this is really Really, really tough and he's, he's struggling he even watched the YouTube video but he kind of skipped through it which is not good and he opens the back of the camera only to find out not only is his film still there and now it's all overexposed and completely waste <laughs> he also ripped the film he tore it and it was an absolute disaster and that's actually what made me want to do this video today so I can prevent it from happening to any of you guys and hopefully never to Trevor again Let's get this off of the table. We'll save that for later. <clears throat> We're gonna start with this baby. This is a Pentax MX 35 millimeter camera. It uh, has now shot 36 rolls. It's amazing. I got it for 40 bucks from Value Village, which is just a thrift store here in Canada. And so I shot all the photos and it is time to unwind it. So we got a second camera here. Hopefully it's nice and focused. You guys can kind of see what's going on. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, dude. So we got this, your typical film camera. So your first step is gonna be making sure that you actually shot all of the film. So my counter is right here and it says 36. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that yours says either 24 or 36. That way you're certain that you've used up all of those shots, you're not wasting any film. Now that you know you've used up all of your shots, your next step is gonna be going to the bottom of the camera and you're gonna press this little button and that is just going to release the film and allow you to rewind it. Now from there, you're gonna flip the camera right on over. On most cameras, you will see this little lever here. You're gonna pull that up and now that your film is released, you will get to unwind your film. You're gonna turn it in a clockwise fashion as the arrow indicates here. You're gonna keep going, keep going and you will hear a click. Once you hear that and you feel the tension release, you know that your film is all the way back into the canister. From this point, you can go ahead and pull up on this little lever and this will open the camera. And this is the moment of truth where you see if you did it properly, if your film is ruined or if it's gonna be okay. And when you open, you should see your film tucked away right back here in its original canister. Now we're gonna talk about some bonus tip with this because you shouldn't just keep your film like this. There's a couple notes that I have for it coming up. It is going to be very, very important that you write down on the actual film canister whether you pushed or pulled the film or left it normal. And this is very important so that you can this is gonna be very important so that months later down the road, depending on how long it takes you to get the film developed, depending on how long it's been inside the actual camera, you won't forget and you can make sure that your film gets developed properly. So in this case, you know, let's say you left it in like me and it's been about a month inside of this camera. I don't remember where I had it set. You're just gonna check wherever your camera says it's ISO or ASA. In this case, it's 400. And if you look at my film, this is set to 400 as well, so that's terrific i just shot it straight there's no troubles there but regardless so that later down the road i don't get mixed up i'm just gonna add a little dot next to the 400 you can use whatever visual reference you would like but just make sure that there's something there so that you never forget if i were to say i have pushed this to 600 i would have written a little arrow with a 600 make sure you write something down so you save your butt a little bit later now we can basically put our film aside it can chill wait to get developed. Now we're going to talk about how to load film back into a camera. So here's your standard roll of film. I just just comes in this little canister, by the way. 
I don't know if this is just me, but I love the smell of film. Leave a comment if you also love the smell of film and if you feel a little crazy every time you're going around sniffing it. And now with this old canister, you can put your already shot film back into there and you can also write, hey, I shot this at 400, not pushed or pulled. Just write 400 on that. Let that focus. Yeah, there we go. Just write a little 400 on there, my chicken scratch, and there's never gonna be any confusion. Save yourself, I've made this mistake too many times. But now to load, basically we're gonna come over here, we're gonna pull up on this little tab, the same one that we used to unload the film, that is gonna open the back of the camera. Great, there you have your shutter and everything. And so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna take your roll of film, stick it into the left side of the camera. And then just to lock that in place, we're just gonna push this back down. And this little tab here, we're just gonna pull out just a little bit. We're gonna have these spools where we're gonna try to line the film up into. So when we release the shutter, you can see what happens when we wind this. This actually turns. And so what this is gonna be doing is this is gonna be pulling the film over. Right? That's all very important. You're gonna wanna tuck it into these slots. A little hard to see on camera, I apologize. But basically let it get its grip there and then line it up right in there. Right here where my finger's pointing. Just line up the film. You're gonna keep a little bit of pressure, a little bit of pressure on that and follow it along. Just with your nail so that you're not actually gripping it. And then you'll actually see that the film now has gone across. Just for this demonstration, we'll show you that as you pull it, it'll keep winding through there. Now at this point, you've made sure that it's going through. You're gonna to wanna to close that camera up, shoot it down. And now here where your counter is, because since we had all of this exposed, we're gonna to wanna to get that film out of the way so that we can start shooting. So right now we're under zero. We're just gonna shoot, wind, shoot. We're at zero, wind, shoot. And now we're at one. We know that this is gonna be our first shot. You can come here, get your exposure all nice, and you're pretty much off to the races, which is absolutely terrific. I'm gonna take a little picture of you guys here. And that's it. Now our film camera is fully loaded and we're gonna be set to go to get out there and start shooting. That is all for today. Please let me know if you have any more questions. Just comment them down below. I promise I will be there and I will answer them. I want to make sure that what happened to Trevor doesn't happen to any of you guys. As I said before, please, if you enjoyed this and you found this helpful, like this video, comment, subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. I'm really trying to get more traction and that will actually share my video more amongst more people. People who might be interested in my channel, YouTube's gonna share that some more if you just hit that like on this video. Now, I wish you guys the best of luck and uh, get out there, have fun shooting, enjoy the process, enjoy the mistakes. They're only gonna make you better. And to end off this video, I'm gonna show you a nice different angle on how I would unload my Olympus XA. Thanks guys, see you later.